Welcome, 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 you guys. It is your girl, Brown Skin Exoticals, and I'm back with another video for you guys. I hope all my exoticals are having a fabulous Friday, and for my fellow exoticals who are celebrating the holiday of Easter or Resurrection Sunday, happy Easter Resurrection Sunday, happy Good Friday to you. I hope you all are doing well and I wanted to use this picture of this girl because I think she is just gorgeous but for today's video I'm going to talk about something which I haven't discussed enough about on this channel and that is the stereotype of the quote-unquote Jezebel really affects mixed race women and is attributed to mixed race women as well as an especially dark skin exoticals so this has to do with one drop ruling this has to do with desirability politics and we're going to discuss and today we're going to discuss all these things and how they affect us as mixed race women but i want us to look at this picture first real quick and the black girl is saying newsflash mixed people you aren't black and you're not welcome in our black spaces cool mixed women we reject mixed folks who identify with their blackness but at the same time, you reject mixed race people who identify with the other parts of their mixture or for my exoticals, the part and phenotypes that they look like, light skin, black, all these things. Now, you have to understand with a lot of black women, especially the swirlers, to black women as a whole, attention from a man is your number one priority. It is the most desired thing they yearn for desire crave harassment for it completely obsessed with it to the point where they'll see mixed race as well as exotic women for example off of scandal carrie washington and tony goldman who are tony goldman's married and i believe carrie washington is as well but they swear on everything that this man is obsessed with her and it's not the first time that dark skin unambiguous black women do this where they think men looking at them men wanting to kiss them which for pete's sake people tony goldman is an actor he's supposed to sell you the narrative of he really wanting this woman and them having chemistry in real life obviously doesn't affect the wife doesn't affect his marriage and his loyalty to his wife but again in black women's minds they want to be the jezebel they want to be this other woman who comes and swoops men away because they honestly have this impurity complex where they need to compete with other women them taking white men mixed race men but especially white men asian men and some of them even hispanic and latino men makes them more if not as valuable as these other races and phenotypes of women i got this off of tiktok where it's that she said i'm obsessed with bbw women and i agree and this black girl as well as all the other black girls in her comments are like i'm obsessed with white guys they're so fine when am i gonna get mine obsessive behavior because for them the chase means proving their worth again when you don't love yourself you don't have that self-love you need to get that validation from other people i'm not saying romantic is better or self-love is better i'm saying as a woman you need both and women who don't have both are literally dangerous to your life especially as a mixed race woman and an exotical and it's funny that the women who try to copy our phenotype the most will gaslight us the most saying that no one's jealous of us that they can look like us naturally and all these other lies and to the point where when we try to make our own spaces and have our own channels on tiktok on youtube we get criticized for it both again me and exoticals united and everybody in this biracial golden sphere exotical sphere of youtube knows exactly what i'm talking about if you're a content creator and another thing is we get compared to each other a lot so i'll notice people who don't like my method of the bullying and i know it's bullying i'm doing it purposely of darker skinned women and a lot of afrocentric features the people who hate it the most are the same ones who do it to mixed and light skinned women because when you're calling our hair ramen noodled but you perm your hair or you get a wig that looks exactly like mine or saying that when you bleached your skin it looks ashy and it looks bad and you look stupid you trying to look like me while telling me i'm mediocre i'm average is insanity again exoticus united says it and i completely agree if you're gonna copy my phenotype 
100% put some respect on my name. But it's the same behavior you see with even women who are married to women who are the side chick, side pieces. Oh, I'm better than you. As the wife, I always win. I'm the one with the ring. It's that whole try to compete with another woman when at the end of the day you lose. And when you see things like this on Lipstick Alley, which I haven't posted about them and for good reasons, but when they ask questions like this, why do black girls care if people find mixed race women attractive? <sighs> Asking the right questions, but with no accountability, you're going to get the wrong answer every single time. Time. and it's not funny but it's the type of stuff we see all the time and I'm noticing with a lot of black women in general and I'm from the south so there's this word we call couth now couth is like having class it's knowing that there's a time and a place for things a lot of black women don't have that they're mad at us for mixed race women having that and they try to gaslight us even I saw on that exact question when I scrolled down the form I read that this person in all sincerity put this the afro descendant mixed race identified phenotype is part of the black race phenotype no it is not and they go on to say as a matter of fact the asian phenotype native american polynesian which i'm assuming they are talking about all pacific islander places but again completely uneducated so we'll just assume we know what they meant european and arab phenotype are all part of the black phenotype <sighs> This is the type of Afrocentric nationalist ideology and talking points that a lot of black people have. Oh, the president was a Moor. Everybody wants to be the black woman. Again, this whole we're the most duplicated but most disrespected BS that they say a lot is because in their mind, they're trying to cosplay us, mixed race in, as well as darker skin exoticals, racially ambiguous women they want to be able to have to say that oh you look like me any attention any good thing you have in your life it really belongs to me you wouldn't be anywhere you are without me that's why they keep saying i'm the original woman the entire human race originated out of the black people they don't want to see us niggas prosper y'all wouldn't be here if not for me it's again someone who has no sense of self-confidence no self-love demanding and feeling entitled to validation worship time and energy from everyone else at their expense no one is kissing their ass and they get upset in their mind they tell themselves things like oh when we go and date out and we see all these different races of men especially white men they love us black queens it's funny because again and even on that reddit form that i read a couple of days ago they do this they have another post on lipstick alley yet again her hair is 3B and I think she's gorgeous. 3B is the prettiest curl to me. Summer has a similar hair type to my daughter. Now, you see how they do this? They love comparing us mixed race and exotical women to each other. You look like my sister's cousin's friend's baby daddy's mama's daughter. Wonderful that you say that. And then someone at the bottom says, now this is a basic Becky, freckle face, melanin deficient. So many are overhyped. I don't get it. If we mixed race women are average, which your average woman does not look this stunning and beautiful, so let's stop lying. But hypothetically, if we're average, that makes black women failing. Monoracial, unambiguous black women, that makes them failing. And they tell on themselves, not just with lighter skin, biracials, octoroons, and people on the quote, more European passing side of the racial ambiguous spectrum. They also show their asses with us darker skin and more melanated exoticals as well so another good example foxy brown which beautiful mixed race woman um very popular i believe in the 70s and people love to refer to her when they talk about this anti-black jezebel stereotype even upon looking at her seeing her nose seeing her lips and her facial pictures i knew for a fact this is not a fully 100%, not even 90% black woman. I could look at her and tell. And come to find out, she is a mixture of many beautiful cultures. She's black, Hispanic, Chinese, Italian, Filipino, and Cheyenne Native American, which explains her higher cheekbones and a lot of her facial features, as well as her natural hair texture. And because of her racial ambiguity, 
like a lot of us exoticals, she unfortunately was violated even at the age of six as a small child. So a lot of us mixed race people, and I've gotten the emails and letters about this, how a lot of us will be R-worded, assaulted, all these horrible things. Men and women have their stories. Why? Because of our beauty and because, more importantly, people's lack of self-control and the fact that people don't care about mixed race people and we're seen as this evil Jezebel, this temptress, man or woman, and we're seducing everybody just because we're quote unquote asking for it by looking the way we do. A lot of black women will try to take on this, oh, I know the struggle, the struggle is real, I can totally relate. No, you can't. Black women are completely underdesired. Mixed race as well as exotical people in general are over desired to the point where our lives and our safety is at risk they have a fundamental hard time thinking that dang this person who has a little bit more european as well as native american or whatever mixture that they have or whatever phenotype we have especially for darker skin exoticals they're like dang this person has looser hair or keener features or whatever mix of the two and because they have this thing that i don't there's no way it makes sense that someone who's my complexion has more social status is higher in the social hierarchy than me and they love to do this thing of complaining oh it's only because you got that good hair only because of your features only because you got the white man's nose or and again i don't know what the obsession is especially with blending blazian any of those phenotypes specifically because they'll scream oh you have white people features they have a whole indian parent obviously they don't have white people features or they'll just gaslight and say no we look exactly alike i can look exactly like you no you'd have to again get a nose job put on some makeup perm your hair you'd have to do some type of chemical altering to your body to look like me or again hell makeup so it's funny because I went on this website and it says mixed race celebrities and their hair, but the website is called black hair, black beauty, something to that effect. So when we keep saying we try to leave the black community alone, they go out their way to see what we're doing, to try to copy our way of doing things, thinking, oh, we're going to have the same result. We never do because we're not the same person. We don't have the same experience. But even seeing, again, the beautiful mixed race women that they did post, they love lighter skin, caramel, medium toned exoticals. They want to gaslight everyone else who is either lighter than that or much darker than that. You don't fit the bill. And then complain that, oh, there's so much diversity in blackness but then tell mixed race people, oh, you're all supposed to look like this. All of us do not look like this. We're not a monolith. And it's sad because we will all be sexualized specifically based off our phenotype as well as where we are geographically. And I believe also socioeconomic status has a lot to do with that as well. Whether you grew up poor, middle class, in the hood, in the suburbs, all has to do with your experience as a mixed race person. And a lot of black people don't want to have this nuance in their own community, let alone mix people who they feel entitled to, who they feel threatened by. And Jenna spoke. Let's start this off it's right. Black Weeks forever! Black Weeks forever! Black Weeks forever! Black Weeks Now, this is the person who posted this video, Dr. Umar, as a lot of people know, very big figure in African-American communities, seen and well-respected. I don't know what the hell he's a doctor of in the first place. Secondly, he is a black man with multiple baby mamas who preaches about the black family staying together, yet has multiple baby mamas, and it doesn't matter because he's a black man, and the black man is... Again, they have a love-hate relationship with black men as well. I was going to say loved and respected, but black men are treated like shit at the same time. So it's, they treat each other bad. I really don't care about the community. Again, we talked about mental health in the black community. And if you have not watched that video yet, 
please go do so but it's interesting how even despite her being more lighter complected again your average black woman is not this complexion they're much darker but you can tell by this concept she has in her going to florida am university which again very predominantly black school this is her mindset this is her mentality she's very monocultural it makes sense you're not surprised by this but if they swear that men want them so much why are they so surprised every time they get quote unquote love and another thing love to black women as well as exoticals mixed race women who identify and have the same mentality of black women is attention think about it whether that be sexual it doesn't even have to be financial because again when you hear a lot of the fuck a man get rich type girlies that is all well in theory for a lot of black women but if they're doing that they most of them if they're gonna do that type of lifestyle that type of skitty girl young miami type lifestyle most of them majority of the time their audiences are black men about twice their age or older white men but yeah for us who are mixed race women we know for a fact that there's a lot more to a relationship than a man just wanting your attention or finding you attractive and a lot of us because again would get all this unwanted attention from men who are married men who are in relationships all of us knowing what it's like to have men who are taken looking at you interested in you giving you all this attention that you did not ask for but then you having to deal with this other woman who's now mad at you that her man lacks self-control and is in a relationship that he clearly doesn't want to be in or he's not attracted to her anymore neither here nor there it becomes our fault every damn time at church in schools universities at work it becomes our fault and as much as black women think they want this lifestyle they don't they don't this is mixed girl struggles that we didn't ask for but we have to learn to deal with because it comes with the racial ambiguity and it comes with our pretty privilege and our beauty we know that and another thing is we're always shunned into not sharing our experiences because again if we talk and people genuinely listen that would be a huge problem for them and it's a lot harder for them to try to convince white people and just non-black people in general that we look alike and mixed and black women beauty and phenotype are interchangeable if we actually speak up and say no 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 this is the difference no 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 this is how they actually treat the mixed women they hate so much and it's funny because we get told things like oh don't complain about your hair oh it must be so easy for you all you have to do is just wet your hair and go and then they get mad at someone like me especially the amount of comments I had to delete in my last video because people didn't like my the only way my hair could look like your nappy forcey hair is if I rolled myself around on the ground comment one it's true and I stand on that two look how they talk about their own hair type and it's interesting because when light-skinned and mixed-race women who have 4C or type 4 hair and don't know what to do with it because they too are uneducated about their hair type, they make similar comments. But these comments mostly come from the same black people who want to scream everything is racist and anti-black. They'll say, oh, five minutes and it's gone. We're born with a curse. They hate their own black features. So don't get mad at the mixed-race and light-skinned people who actually love themselves saying oh it's so much easier to love yourself because you're more accepted even if i wasn't the self-love as well as the romantic love and the qualities of my relationship i'm 10 times better than you are that's really the only quote unquote privilege we have over them standards <laughs> i know foreign concept and then you'll have videos like this where you have unstable members of the black community uh black china's mother being one of them another one being that guy um I forget what his name is but he was the dark skinned black guy who was like i know black i know black i'm dominican he was mocking dominicans and in this video with black china's mother specifically she's saying a lot of the people in the music industry are plants and funny enough every single person in that video was a mixed race or light-skinned black woman with the exception of jay-z who is a quote-unquote colorist black man drake was in the video Nicki Minaj in the video every time we as mixed and light-skinned people get anything it's oh they come out of nowhere oh they're an plant industry plant they don't have any industry connections 
it's because they're racially ambiguous because of the light skin because of the loose hair that's why they are where they are same thing with all these different artists it's like even if it's someone like rihanna or Nicki minaj who were working at their stuff beyonce too for decades it doesn't matter because you're mixed in light skin because of your racial ambiguity you were planted there and you took that spot from a well to do hard working dark skinned black woman and you don't deserve this spot more than they do and i hate you so much and blah 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 tired of hearing it again the jezebel in essence is the woman who is necessary but despised and hated by women who don't have the same sex appeal the same power status that she has whether you like it or not mixed women have status we have power everyone knows we do that's why a lot of women hate us a lot of men will lie to convince their insecure jealous and bitter wives baby mothers girlfriends long time situationships that oh you ain't gotta worry about her and all that other nonsense and if you're anything like me mixed and light-skinned women as well as men because you all have this power as well it's a complete privilege and i'm here for it i use this to my advantage i know it makes other women and and a lot of men who don't know how to handle a woman who has sex appeal and has confidence in this regard because it is very faux pas for women to have this type of power and use it especially if she's already beautiful especially if she's mixed race and gorgeous because we as women know for a fact with power like this we can get ourselves money houses we can change our entire lifestyles with this ability and if you really want to know how to use and utilize this stuff exoticals united has so many videos about it but for most of us we already know how to be women because it's who we are not what we have to pretend to be femininity is not new to us it's true to us see you on in the next one